जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राधा जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राधा गोपी जन knowledge of the absolute and we will decide recite, recite and discuss on text 3 that is 7.3 okay so please make an attempt to repeat behind i will display this on the screen do you do that no 
मनुष्याण सहस्रेशु कशित यतति सिद्ध यतता सिद्धा कशिन् वेति तत्व मनुष्याण सहस्रेशु कशित यतति सिद्ध यतता सिद्धा कशिन् वेति तत्व मनुष्याण सहस्रेशु कशित यतति सिद्ध यतता सिद्धा कशिन् वेति तत्व सहस्रेशु आउट ऑफ मेनी थाउजेंड्स कशित समन यतति एंडेवर्स सिद्ध ये फॉर परफेक्शन यतताम ऑफ दोस सो एंडेवरे अभी इंडीड सिद्धाराम ऑफ दोस Who have achieved perfection? Who have achieved perfection? Kashit, Samman, Maam, Me, Vedi, Does know, Tatvatah, In fact, Transcription purport by His Divine Grace Abhay Charna Vindu Bhakti Vedanta Swami Shri Prabhupada Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai. So the purport is big. I'll read. One paragraph, and then we'll see as we progress. Of course, translation. Out of many thousands among men who may endeavour for perfection, and of those who have achieved perfection, hardly one knows me in truth. Parpo. There are various grades of men, and out of many thousands, one may be sufficiently interested in transcendental realization. to try to know what is the self what is the body and what is the absolute truth chandrali mankind is simply engaged in the animal propensities namely eating sleeping defending and mating and hardly anyone is interested in transcendental knowledge the first six chapters of the gita are meant for those who are interested in transcendental knowledge in understanding the self the super self and the process of realization by gnana yoga dhyana yoga and discrimination of the self from matter however krishna can be known only by persons who are in krishna consciousness other transcendentalists may achieve impersonal brahman realization for this is easier than understanding krishna krishna is the supreme person but at the same time is beyond the knowledge of brahman and parmatma the yogis and gnanis are confused in their attempts to understand krishna although the greatest of the impersonalist shri pad shankaracharya has admitted in his gita commentary 
that Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead. His followers do not accept Krishna as such, for it is very difficult to know Krishna, even though one has transcendental realization of impersonal Brahman. Oma Jnana Timirandasya Jnana Anjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Melitam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Sthapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamai Hamdadati Svapadantikam One day Aham Shri Guraho Shri Yuta Padakamalam Shri Gurun Vaishtavaham Shcha Shri Rupam Sagrajataham Sahagana Raghunathan Vitam Tam Sajeevam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Pada Sahagana Navita Shri Vishakhan Vitam Shcha Nama Om Vishnu Pada Ya Krishna Prashthaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pashchakti Desha Tarani Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishna Yaha Krishna Chaitanya Namine Gaurat Vishena Maha He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Tapta Kanchana Gauranghiradhe Vrindavaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye वांचा कल्पतरु भ्यश्चा कृपा सिंधु व्यये वच पदीता नाम पावने भ्यो वैष्णवे भ्यो नमो नमः श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अत्वैत गदाधर शिवासदि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे मुखम करोति वाचालम पंगुम लंगाए दीग्रिं यक्रपा तमहम वंदे श्रीगुरु दीन तारिनम हरे कृष्णा थैंक यू वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर दिस इवनिंग डिस्कशन ऑन बगवत बगवत गीता एस इट इस एंड आई एम वेरी वेरी ग्रेटफुल टू द टेंपल मैनेजमेंट फॉर गिविंग मी अ चांस टू कम टू कलगरी एंड शेयर व्हाटेवर � so uh, this verse 7.3 of Bhagavad Gita as it is Manushya naam sahastreshu kashchit yatati siddhaye yatatam api siddha naam kashchin maam vetti tattvataha So Bhagavad Gita Sanskrit is very easy very easy to understand as compared to any other scripture right? Generally people feel Bhagavad Gita is very difficult that's, that's what they think like because that's, that, that's how it has been presented but when Srila Prabhupada gave the Bhagavad Gita, it is so easy to understand. Right? Either people have made it very philosophical and most people keep away them. Maybe not for me, I am not a philosophical person. Right? Or otherwise people have played around so much with this Gita that most people get bewildered. What, is, what does Gita stand for? What exactly is Bhagavad Gita? Right? Like... Uh, in 1998, when I came to Pune, back in India, there's a city called Pune. Those of you are aware. So I, I grew up in Nagpur and I came to Pune for my uh, postgraduate study. And uh, my father, his, uh, his generally, his birthday gift would be, he would get me Bhagavad Gita's. Every birthday, he would get me another, another Bhagavad Gita. But it never clicked to me that these Bhagavad Gita's are different. There is something, some difference here. I would just read the Sanskrit part and move on. Right? But when I came to Pune, I, I, could not, I, I forgot. I could not bring any of my Bhagavad Gita copies with me. So then I went to the local market. Anybody from Pune here? You have been there? You've been there? Okay. Pune, Pune is a very unique city. If you want to purchase books, there is only one address that you go to. There, you, cannot, you don't find bookstores all around the city. There's one address called ABC, Appa Balwan Chowk. <laughs> That's what it is called, ABC we call it, right? So I went there to a religious bookstore and I asked this person at the store, can you give me a Bhagavad Gita? And this person said, oh, why are you coming here? In the city, he told me some address. He said, there a huge Dharmic Grantha exhibition 
an exhibition of religious books is going on. You go there, you'll get so many Bhagavad Gita's. So sometimes when a third person speaks like that, it hits you. So many Bhagavad Gita's. And then I thought, yes, I also had so many. I said, okay, I'll go to this address. Right? Then I went to that address. Many stalls were put up. And I went to the first one. And uh, some young girls were standing there. And I asked them, do you have Bhagavad Gita? And this girl, one girl went around and she got a Gita for me. So a small copy of Bhagavad Gita, very small. And in that Bhagavad Gita in Sanskrit or you know, Devanagari Lipi was written. So I just thought, you know, because they are distributing Gita, they are giving out like that, they are standing there, I should ask them, what is the most important message of Bhagavad Gita? And this girl said, Hamko mat pucho, don't ask us, Hamari didi hai, our, di, my, our didi is behind, you can ask her. Then I went to the didi, and I asked her, what is the most important message of Bhagavad Gita? And this didi told me, Bhagavad Gita teaches you to do social service. And I asked this lady, can you quote me one verse? I've read Gita. I had so many copies for with me. I, I never came across any verse where Krishna tells Arjuna, get down from the chariot and feed the hungry. Right? He didn't talk about social service anywhere. Samaj Seva. So she said, uh, any more questions you have, you can come to our uh, you know, organization, there, our address, and there you'll get further you know, answers. I said, okay, keep your Gita. I'll go to the next stall. Then I went to the next stall. And there I went and I asked this person, do you have a Bhagavad Gita? He said, yes, I have my, I have Bhagavad Gita. And he gave me. Then I looked up and I understood that this stall and this person who is there at the stall, is he's an Ayurvedic doctor. So I asked him, you are giving me Bhagavad Gita. Can you tell me what is the most important message of Bhagavad Gita? And he said, very simple, Gita tells you to take, uh, Gita wants you to take Ayurvedic medicine. <laughs> and what? Where is the verse in Gita about Ayurvedic medicine? And she said, and, and he said, Yukta ahara viharasya, Yukta cheshtasya karmasu, Yukta svapnava bodhasya, Yogo bhavati dukkha. <laughs> translation put, translation put. Where is Ayurveda here? And you know what this person said? Sanskrit hai, meaning khichna padta hai. And I'm like, what? If you say something and I misconstrue some different understanding out of it, you will feel offended. Why, why would you want to, you know, take out some different meaning from what Krishna wants to give? Then I said, you keep your Gita. I went to the third stall. And when I went there, I asked them the same question. Do you have Bhagavad Gita? And a Gita copy was put in front of me. Then I asked the same question, what is the most important message of Bhagavad Gita? And this person said, hey, sir, you don't even have to read the whole Gita for that. Behind our Gita, this cover page, the back part, there we have put the verse. I said, show me. And I read the verse. And it was half of the Sanskrit verse. Then I again looked up, looked up at the stall, name, what was the stall? It was a Hindu organization. And they had put up this stall and they were printing the Bhagavad Gita. So I asked them, okay, you are showing me this verse. I will read it, but please tell me, I have another question on this verse for you. But you tell me what is the most important message of the Gita. He said, I will tell you the meaning first. I said, okay, go ahead. You tell the meaning. I told him, why have you put half the verse here? Jitna kaam ka hai, utna rakha hai. I said, I said, what is Jitna kaam ka hai, Krishna, Krishna has spoken 700 verses. What is the kaam ka hai? Everything is important. Why have you put half the verse? He said, and what was what is that? What was the verse there? Swadharma nidanam shreyaha paro dharma bhaya vaha. Krishna is telling Arjuna. So this person told me, see, the Sanskrit verse is saying, Swadharma, you are a Hindu. Swadharma nidanam shreya. Hindu reke margay to acha hai. Paro dharma bhaya vaha. Don't take to any other religion. I said, wait, wait, wait. Krishna is still here. Arjuna, your dharma is to fight. You are a kshatriya. You are supposed to be fighting the war. You better die while fighting the war rather than taking someone else's duty. And he said, no. Krishna is the Hindu god. And Hindu god is saying, remain Hindu. I said, Kida Hindu? Is there any word in Hindu in entire Sanskrit? There is no word like Hindu. But these people have put up stall. Now, you can imagine what must have happened to me. 
when I go to three stalls like that and I get Gita, a different meaning of Gita and different, you know, uh, message to about Gita. I had patience for one more stall. Now. I, I went to many, but I, I had just through, I, I, I went to this one stall and there they showed me Bhagavad Gita. And this Bhagavad Gita was so huge. Like at least six by six or eight times of this Gita. That big Gita. And this time I had no courage to ask them what is the most important message of Bhagavad Gita. Because the cover page was so attractive. The cover page only I had some question. On the cover page it was written Bhagavad Gita and one sadhu, one yogi was sitting there with a the mala and chanting. And all around on the cover page was written 5200, 5200, 5200, 5200. You can imagine what must be my question to this person. What must be my inquiry? Any guesses? What is 5200? <laughs> Forget whole Gita man. Bhagavad Gita at 5200. What is the connection you tell me that? And this person told me, Krishna spoke Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna 5200 years ago. Same Krishna has come as our guru. <laughs> And he is speaking Gita now. Wow. Krishna is saying Sambhavami Yuge Yuge. 5200 years he has not said that. But look, people have made their guru into God now. And they are printing Gita. And so many people get bewildered when they see such Bhagavad Gitas. What do I make out of it? Everyone giving their own meaning. Right? Like back in India, Maharashtra, Balaganga Tilak, one freedom fighter. He has given his Bhagavad Gita version. And he says all that Bhagavad Gita is Karma Yoga. But Prabhupada is saying the purported Karma Yoga is there. Jnana Yoga, Dhyana Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, so many things are there. But he wanted people to do Karma. Uh, uh, his message was... Uh, what would Tilak say? What was he famous for? Mera Janma Siddha Dikar Hai. Right? Swarajya. Swarajya is my birthright. Right? And, yes, and he wanted everyone to come out, especially Maharashtrians, very difficult to get them out and do something. <laughs> Quite peaceful people. So he wanted them to come out and he gave a whole Bhagavad Gita. Title is Karma Yoga. Nothing more than that. Now people will take Gita and think, Gita means only Karma. But Gita means so much more. Right? That's why when I came across Srila Prabhupada's Bhagavad Gita, when I saw it, Bhagavad Gita as it is, Generally, people when they see this Gita, they feel, I said, Kaise dik sakta hai koi? as it is. What about others? The way I like it to be. <laughs> That's other Bhagavad Gita's. Because I had the experience of it, seeing so many Bhagavad Gita's, having, having personally studied it, that people are playing around with it. And Srila Prabhupada says, Why don't you write your own book? See, nobody will even buy. But you want to cheat people. That's why what do you do? You put Bhagavad Gita on top of it and inside you write what you want to write. What you want to speak. Right? I, I would do a program in India. This was 2007. And uh, generally whenever I go for a program, I prepare for an hour's presentation and then I speak. But in that program, one young, oh, sorry, one old couple, one old couple were visited that day and every 10 minutes, the old guy, he would raise hand. I said, I said, I have come prepared something, I have prepared something. I will take full charge, I will take 10 minutes, then I will take 10 minutes. Can I speak? Can I share? Then I stopped at 15 minutes and I said, please, whatever you want to say, please speak now. He said, no, 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 you continue for 10 more minutes, I will speak to you in person. I said, okay. And then this person came to me and he said, my name is Mr. Sahastra Buddhe and that's my wife, Mrs. Sahastra Buddhe. Uh, I was working with National Chemical Laboratories. I was one of the directors. So he was a scientist. And he said, I have studied Sanskrit. Right? I am PhD in Sanskrit. And I have written my Bhagavad Gita. I said, wonderful. Very good. I asked him, who is your guru? He said, guru? Why do you need guru? You, I know Sanskrit. And I wrote my Gita. Then I asked him, I know English. Does it mean I will know physics? English, physics may be taught in English, doesn't mean because just because I know English, I know physics. I said, I know Sanskrit, doesn't mean that I know Gita. 
said, no, no, not, not, not at all necessary. Just because Gita is in Sanskrit doesn't mean that you will understand Gita because you have studied Sanskrit. How do you, how do you understand Gita? I told him, have you not seen the verse Tadviddi Pranipatena Pariprashnena Sevaya? I explained him the verse a little bit and he said, oh, such a beautiful understanding you have. No, I never got it. I said, forget it. You tell me what was your question, your reason and what, what did you want to speak to me? He said, I have written Gita. I want to print it. Can you get the funding for it? <laughs> <laughs> this is nice, man. You write some crap right out of your mind and then you want me to get funding for it. Right? So, so many people come to Gita, either they keep it away. Right? Sometimes we joke like that. Prabhupada has given us Bhagavad Gita as it is. People buy it and keep in their house as it is. No, it was not supposed to be kept as it is. The concept is that the Gita is given as it is. The way Krishna wanted, what Krishna wanted to say, the same meaning has been offered here. Without any adulteration in between. This is what Srila Prabhupada is claiming here. I have not cheated anybody. When Srila Prabhupada was one time in South India, one reporter came to him and said, Swamiji, what your Bhagavad Gita? Whatever Ramuja Charya is written, mostly is the same thing you have repeated. And Prabhupada said, thank you. Thank you. Prabhupada said, I never wanted to write out of you know, what my intelligence, what comes to me. I only wanted to repeat the previous Acharyas. Thank you for appreciating me. This person was saying, I saw you. That's the purity of the Gita. Why is it as it is? Because Srila Prabhupada has not put anything that he wanted to. Given the way previous Acharyas and especially Krishna has given, he has just repeated it as it is. Now when we come to Gita, we will come to today's verse, uh, Krishna is saying Manushyanam. What is the meaning of Manushya? Humans. Manushya means humans. Manushyanam is plural, humans. Manushyanam Sahastreshu. What is the meaning of Sahastreshu? How many of you agree with Krishna? There are only thousands of human beings. Back in India, you will say, oh, millions and millions living one over, one over the other. But Krishna is saying Manushyanam Sahastreshu. What is the population of the world now? 8 billion. Krishna is saying Manushyanam Sahastreshu. We have found fault with Gita, right? We are smart guys, man. We have found fault in Gita. Fault in Krishna's words. Manushyanam, thousands only. Shri Prabhupada is saying the purport. Just because you have two legs and two hands, that doesn't make you human. You have to qualify to become human. Right? Shri Prabhupada would often quote a Mahabharata verse where he would say, there are four things which are common between human beings and animals. If these four things is what we are doing, then we are also animal-like. We cannot call ourselves humans. You can recite behind me. Ahara nidra bhaya maithu namcha Everyone is not reciting. Focus. Ahara nidra bhaya maithu namcha Samanya metat pashubhir narana Dharmo hi tesham adhiko visheshu Dharme nahina pashubhi samana So this Mahabharata verse is saying Ahar, Nidra, Bhaya and Maithuna Eating, sleeping, mating, defending These four activities animals are doing And even humans are doing and if humans do these four activities in a very polished way, why doesn't they are just better animals? It, that does not qualify one as human. Dharma itesham adhiko visheshan. When there is dharma, right? When we start, when we practice dharma, something going on there. When we practice dharma, 
धर्मो ही तेषाम अधिको विशेषो इन वेन वेन टू वेन वी वेन वेन कैन वी कॉल आवर सर्स ह्यूमंस धर्मो ही तेषाम अधिको विशेषो वेन धर्म इज देयर विदाउट धर्म पशु भी समान वी आर एस गुड एस एनिमल्स व्हाई इस कृष्णा सिंह ओनली थाउजेंड्स ऑफ ह्यूमन बीइंग्स वेरी फ्यू विल प्रैक्टिस धर्म now vyasadev gives the understanding what is dharma here does dharma mean muslim hindu christian some kind sort of religion no no no, no. spirituality science vyasadev says dharma begins when you start enquiring about these questions which are these questions which are the questions who am i right what is life what is death what happens what will happen after death what is the perfection in this human form of life what should be done what is this life meant for shila vyasdev says unless you ask these questions we have remained at animalistic level we haven't become humans yet if our life is only eating sleeping making defending and you will find by the time it is monday morning people will meet at office and they say weekend kaha jayenge khane ko you see all the time eating 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 sleeping right? chance mil gaya so now right they want to sleep waiting right and defending entire human civilization what we see now is only focused on this who is asking this questions inquiry right like uh, there is one personality very famous is gautam buddha right so when gautam this siddhartha when he went out of his you know palace one day generally he was not allowed to go one day he went out and he saw one deceased man coughing right and he asked his charioteer why is this man coughing and the charioteer said oh he is deceased and siddhartha asked but back in the palace nobody is like this Does this happen to everyone? Yes, yes, yes. All throughout, Siddhartha's father would not allow him to see any pain in the pain of the world. So he was kept so restricted within the palace. One day he went out. He saw a deceased man. Then he saw an old man, you know, with a stick, bent. And Siddhartha asked his charity here, "What happened to this guy? Is he searching for something on the, on the ground?" no oh, that's becoming old and siddhartha as everyone becomes old like this charity said yes everyone has to grow old one day and then siddhartha saw one man on a cot and four people carrying this person and siddhartha asked itne aaram se kaha leke ja rahe isko where are they taking him you know amazing i go on a chariot and here four people are carrying him he sleeping like that and the charity has said oh he is dead and siddhartha has dead what is death means everyone will die and charity has said yes everyone has to die one day hai right? siddhartha came back to his palace hai right? and he decided i want to go out and search in search of enlightenment if this is what is going to happen to me disease old age and death I right? Siddhartha saw it once we see it day in and day out all of us have been through covid how many of us have become serious for spiritual life death can come any time we all were you know hidden inside our houses no oh, one can walk out i don't want to die i don't want to get disease but what happened that fear for siddhartha that information was sufficient i want to take to spirituality very seriously for us why does it not happen why why when we when we may see a deceased person we may see an old guy we don't we see it you know we, we may hear about so many people die every day why are we why don't we become serious in an india back in india we say char hindu ek disha mein tabhi chalte jab panchwa uske khande pe hota hai Or Hindus walk in one direction only when the fifth one is on there. 
शोल्डर्स बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ अस हैव सो मेनी ओपिनियंस ये करना चाहिए वो करना ये आई कैन डू दिस आई कैन डू दैट दिस इज ऑल्सो स्पिरिचुअल दैट इज ऑल्सो स्पिरिचुअल वाई शुड प्रॉपर राइट एज इट इज यूर दिस इज स्पिरिचुअल नॉट वॉट आई लाइक इट टू बी वॉट इज कृष्णा गिवन हियर राइट सो सिद्धार्थ सॉ बर्थ ओल्ड एज डिसीज एंड डेथ एंड सिद्धार्थ बिकेम सीरियस वी हैव टू आस्क अवर सेल्स वेन डू वी बिकम सीरियस फॉर स्पिरिचुअल प्रैक्टिस वेन विल वी स्टार्ट इंक्वायरिंग हु एव आई एम आई दिस बॉडी एम आई स्पिरिट सोल इफ आई एम स्पिरिट सोल आत्मा वॉट इज डेथ वाई शुड आई अंडर गो डेथ वेन आई डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू एंड वॉट विल हैपन आफ्टर डेथ एंड वॉट इज दिस कंसेप्ट कॉल्ड जन्म मृत्यु बर्थ एंड डेथ साइकल द सोल विल कीप ऑन टेकिंग बर्थ then what is called liberation coming out of this cycle of birth and death we are supposed to human life means human birth means this is the inquiry right so uh, vyasadev has written something called as vedanta sutras thousands and thousands of sutras are there right some are available to us now you know vedanta sutra the entire book begins with the sutra athato brahma jigyasa therefore enquire about absolute truth without giving any reason this book is no reasons given before but it says therefore enquire about absolute truth you know what is vyasadev's understanding are you able to read this sutra yes that means you have studied you have, you, have, you have got educated yes that means you are human therefore now only one duty you have athato brahma jigyasa Enquire about absolute truth. No other inquiry is needed. Don't inquire for eating. Don't inquire for sleeping. Don't inquire for mating. Don't inquire for defending. These things will come on their own. Right? Ajgar kare na chakri, panchi kare na kam. Das maluka kahe gaye sabka data ram. Arey the birds don't go to any office, any company, any any factory. the python just sits at one place the bird gets to eat the python is eating the elephants get to eat what is our problem we think i will not get to it why would you not get to it if god is only feeding everyone if we are sure about it right that god is feeding everyone sabka data ram everyone is being fed by god we we may say that you know we have our factories Okay, whatever you produce in your factories, eat that. Start eating that now. Who oh, we cannot eat that? Somebody will say, "Oh, we develop software. I work in software company. Then eat your bug software ridden bug, a uh, bug ridden software. I'm sorry, bug ridden software. Eat that. That's what you produce, right? Now we'll say, no, 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 no. I earn money and I give the money to the farmer, and the farmer will give me the go and ask the farmer, because the farmer works so close to nature, mother nature. the farmer will say oh there is father also mother nature and this father god right because the farmer is so close to nature the father the farmer comes across the miracles of god every season wheat here rice sour fruit and a sweet fruit same earth one seed sunlight water hundreds and thousands of seeds out of it How do you so many fruits? Is I don't do anything here. God's miracle is happening so close to us. But what has happened to us? We have gone so far from nature now, and we think everything is going on because of our factories. Everything is going on because I am working hard, not because of that. If God does not want you to eat, right? You may have your millions, you may have your all arrangement, and the doctor will just tell you, "Khana ma." Or eat now, you will die. Everything is around, but you cannot eat. So, if God is feeding us, when will we start acknowledging God? When will we start saying, "Let me understand, I am soul. I am supposed to be taking birth after birth, and who is God?" All this inquiry is what makes us human. Any inquiry lesser than this. I cannot qualify myself as human. 
So all this talk now I have given for only two words in the verse. Which were the two words? Manushya Nam. You understand? Krishna is not, not committing a mistake here in counting. You are saying billions are there. Krishna says thousands are only there. Because most will not qualify as humans in this world. They look like human. They are walking on two legs. They have two hands. Their thumb also, as Darwin said, <laughs> usable thumb. That does not make us human. Manushyanam sahastreshu. And Krishna is saying, Kashchit. Hardly anybody will try to achieve perfection in this life. Most people will be busy only in activities of taking care of the body. Nobody, hardly anybody will come to understanding I am soul. What am I doing for the soul? Srila Prabhupada would say, just as, just as car and car has a driver, this body is also a machine and the soul is the driver. Car has its food and the driver for the car also has its own food. This body is like the car and the soul is like the driver. Right? The body needs its food, but what about the soul? Are we feeding the soul? We are not. Are we re have we realized that I am spirit, soul, I am Atma? I am not. Kaschit yatati siddhi. Now siddhi, siddhi here means perfection. What is the perfection? Siddhi here means you come to the stage of self-realization. Right? Atma sakshatkar, as they say. You come to that stage uh, of self-realization. And then when you leave the body, right? When you are self-realized, the jnanis will do jnana yoga, people will tell you, then you will get mukti liberation. Atma will get liberation. But Krishna does not stop at kashchit yatati siddhaye. Liberation, Shri Prabhupada will give an example, just as a patient in the hospital. Patient is very sick, right? But then patient is given discharge, right? The patient is, patient is discharged from the hospital, but still healthy state is not regained yet. There is something called disease state, discharged from the hospital and there is something called once again regaining one's health. Similarly, I am now thinking I am the body, I am deceased, coming to the realization I am soul, that is like discharged patient, but then beyond it is also another stage which Krishna talks about in the remaining two lines. Yatatam api siddhana. And all those who have achieved perfection, Yatatam Api Siddhana, those who have come to the realization I am spirit soul, Atma Sakshatkar Hojuga Idiska, right? Yatatam Api Siddhana, Krishna is saying, Kaschin, hardly one knows me in truth. How many of you think you know Krishna? Vrindavan Wala, right? Back. Oh, Krishna means, oh, he carries a flute and he has cows around. That's not knowing Krishna. Knowing Krishna, if Krishna was so easy to be known, entire book, Bhagavad Gita, and Vyasadeva giving us so many, you know, the Vedas, the Upanishads, the Puranas, the Mahabharat, the Vedanta Sutras, why so much literature has to be written? So much philosophy has to be given? Kaschin Krishna is saying, Yatatam api siddhanam, all those who have achieved perfection have come to the stage of self realization. Out of that, one will know me in truth. Knowing Krishna is so, such a, such a, you know, Rahasya. Krishna is a secret. Krishna himself says, Rahasyam hi uttamam. It's a great secret that I am sharing with you, Arjuna. So, realizing Krishna is not easy and realizing Krishna is easy at the same time. Very difficult for those who do not follow the path as it is given by Krishna. Right? So Krishna is, sharing in the, Krishna is sharing in the Gita, what are you supposed to do? Krishna says, come to the stage of surrendering to me. Right? So when I began the discussion, 
I said the most important message of Bhagavad Gita. Right? So 18th chapter, 66th verse, Krishna gives the most important message. And you'll find when you come across this verse, just a few verses before Krishna says, Arjuna, for your benefit, I will summarize. Now what does it mean? The entire Gita, the most important thing is to be spoken now. And Krishna says, Sarva dharman parityajya mamekam sharanam raja aham paam sarva pape bhyo moksha ishyami mahashuchaha Krishna says, Sarva dharman parityajya You may have concocted your so many religions and understanding about spirituality. Give it up, Krishna says. Parityajya Sarva dharman parityajya and Krishna says, only do one dharma now. What is your dharma? Mame kam sharanam raja. You just surrender unto me. Maam, ekam. Maam means again singular, me. But Krishna says ekam. That means nowhere else. Maam, ekam. And Krishna says sharanam. Take my shelter. Maam, ekam, sharanam. And the Acharyas give a very beautiful understanding. They say Krishna could have used any words, word, but Krishna uses the word vrajam. How to take shelter of Krishna just as the Brajavasis did. Right? The Vrindavan Vasis, how they took shelter of Krishna in loving Krishna. Mame kam sharanam raja. And Krishna says, then I will protect you. Aham paam sarva pape bhyo moksha ishyami maha shuchaha. I will offer you all the protection, Krishna says. So, how many of you would like to understand Krishna and surrender to Krishna? Very good, Chai. Thank you. So now I'm going to discuss with you four steps that you need to take from your side. And then Krishna says, Ah, ah you did your part, sir. Now my Mary Bari. Now I will do. Right? So four steps that we need to take in Krishna consciousness is, right? The first thing is, it is called becoming responsible in one's own life. I'll give you an example, responsibly. You, one may, generally people have understanding, everything belongs to me, whatever is my property. So, Bhumi Gopal ki, ye hajar square put chhod ghi. Ye apna hai. Generally, that's what we should do. Sab, sab, Bhaju wale ka Krishna ka hai, sab ka Krishna, sab kut Krishna ka hai. Isko chhod do. Ye wala apna hai, right? So, the first step, the first step is, okay, you understand everything belongs to you. Chill. But come to a stage of becoming responsible. Right? Like back in India, Narendra Modi is telling all of us, country is yours. Keep it clean. Keep it nice. Become responsible. Right? Why don't you keep your country clean? So much Swachya Bharat, Swachya Bharat Abhiyan is, is, is starting. Keep it nice. Become responsible, he's telling all of us. Right? Like uh, my sister, who happens to be a teacher in uh, Washington, D.C., she was telling me one time that, oh, we make good citizens in our schools. When the kids are there in the school, we make good citizens out of them right there. That's the time to, you know, teach them. And especially we teach them, keep your surroundings and your country clean. I said, son, I will test. <laughs> we went to a mall and I... I I sat on a bench outside and what did I do? I had some paper. So I took that paper and threw it. I wanted to see what will people do. The first guy who came, he picked it up and put it in the trash. And I said, I took another sheet of paper and I threw it. Some kids were coming and one kid picked it up and put it in his pocket. This is nice. This is called becoming responsible. Whatever you keep. So, Srila Prabhupada, he was one time taking darshan at Radha Shamasundar temple in Vrindavan. So, those of you who have been to Vrindavan, Prabhupada was taking, the, Prabhupada greeted the deities and then Prabhupada would circumambulate the deities. You have here? Yeah. Yeah. You can circumambulate the deities yeah. the temple. Yes. Right? So, Prabhupada would go around and Prabhupada would stop at one end. And many devotees were following him, disciples were following him, and Prabhupada would say, 
are you blind? And Prabhupada walk. The second time he went around, same place, Prabhupada stopped and said, Are you blind? Prabhupada said, What's going on? Why is Prabhupada calling us blind? Third time Prabhupada went, same place Prabhupada stopped and said, Are you blind? It is 7.30 in the morning. Why is the light still on? See what Prabhupada is teaching? Yes. Become responsible. Come to that stage. Devotee is very far away. At least some you know, good human qualities one should have. Prabhupada was in Mayapur and Harishwari Prabhu, his secretary, Prabhupada called him. Prabhupada would ring the bell. bell. And the secretary was supposed to come. And Prabhupada asked him, there is some oh, tap, there is some tap on this floor which is leaking. Go. You know, uh, close it. And this devotee went all around the all over the floor. Every tap he saw, he came to Prabhupada, no, no tap is leaking. Prabhupada said, sit After a minute, tip. Another minute, tip. You heard it? Go. Close the tap. What, is, what do I understand out of it? What is Prabhupada teaching? Why are you wasting water? Why are you wasting electricity? Why are you not keeping your premises clean? Shri Prabhupada would say, cockroaches or any rodents simply means you are not keeping the place clean. If your place is clean, if your temple is clean, why would they come? All these rodents, why would they come? So Prabhupada wanted us to follow the first step. What was that? Become responsible. Ready to take the second step towards Krishna? Yes. The second step that you can take is increase either increase or I can say go deeper in your Sambandha Jnana with Krishna. Relationship with Krishna. Right? We all have a Sambandha with Krishna. In this world we are looking for he is my friend, that's my brother, that's my mother, father. What about me and God? Is there any relationship? Generally the relationship is I go to temple, I place my order, just like I'll go to a restaurant. I, during British times, they would call a, what do you call it in Canada? Waiter? A waiter? Right? A server? A server? During British times, this, this server was called a bellboy. Right? They would have a bell, you ring the bell and the bellboy comes. You place your order, the bellboy goes and uh, it, the bellboy will get the menu for you, cooked items for you. And our Devamrit Swami Maharaj says, many times Hinduism is reduced, reduced to what? A bell ringing religion. You come to the temple and you ring a bell and you call the cosmic bell, bellboy, Krishna, cosmic bellboy. What do you do? You only place your order. People come to temple. I am going for God's darshan. But what do they make God? They make God their servant. Our understanding is I am meant to serve God. See, Jesus said, I am the son of God. Right? Muhammad said, I am the messenger of God. Everybody is talking about serving God. But what do we do by coming to temple? We put our order list. You are supposed to serve me. But no, that's not the way. I am supposed to serve. Right? Like, if I ask Prabhuji, if you can do a hand, if, if you can do a hand. Thank you. Now, if this hand is cut and kept on this table, will you do a handshake? His eyes have become beautiful. Hand cut, lying there and you ask, why would you not do a handshake now? What is it? Hand is there. All that you have to do is shake. What is the problem? <laughs> but why would you not do a handshake? Anybody? The relationship with the body is there. Till the time the hand was connected to the body, handshake was nice. The hand separated from the body. Hey Baba, this is this is risky scary now. I this is scary now. That's what is our position. Till the time we are connected to God, 
proper connection to God, right understanding about our connection with God, relationship with God, everything is fine. If the part goes separate from the whole, that part is useless, scary, dirty. Prabhupada would say just like spark and fire. Spark within the fire, very nice. The spark comes out of the fire, would last for long. So our relationship with Krishna, our sambandha with Krishna, I have to go deeper in it. Ishopanishad begins with Isha Vasyam Idam Sarvam. The whole creation, everything belongs to God. That means I belong to God. My wife, my wife belongs to God. My children belong to God. My husband belongs to God. Everyone and everything belongs to God. Right? How did we take birth? When, when you are born, we are born with like this, our wrists, you know, our, our, our fist, our fist was closed like this. Right? That means we didn't bring anything with us. And when we, when we die, our hands would be open like that, our palm would be open like that. That means we are not going to take anything. Mutthi bandh ke aane wale, haat pasare jayega, dhalta suraj dheere dheere dhalta hai dhal jayega. We didn't bring anything and we're not going to carry anything. And same thing with same birth and same death happens to everyone. My father, his father. Then whose, whose creation is this? The creation belongs to the creator. It belongs to God. What am I supposed to do? We have to ask ourselves then. If everything belongs to God, what is my role in God's creation? That is called Sambandha Gyan. Right? The more we go deeper in this Sambandha Gyan, the more we will become fixed in our relationship with God. Generally, okay, I will give you an example. Few girls, they, were, they, they would come to one, at, one, one of the friends' home. They would come and sit in the balcony. And every day at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, when they are sitting in the balcony, one old man would pass by. And the girls, they, wanted, they want to have fun. They would pass comments on this old man, something or other every day, and laugh at that old man. Bichara old man, what would what, 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 what could he do? He would just walk by every day. One day the girls came, the same location, they are there. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. The old man came by and one of the girls said, Sasurji Jare, my father in law. Okay. Why? What's the difference? Sambandha. Before there was no relationship, any comment was okay. But when there is a relationship established, then they are so careful. Right? So, similarly you find when people come to the temple the first time, somebody will know. Somebody do like this, somebody fall like this, somebody fall like this. Um, flying is to God, everything is But as soon as you understand, oh God, Krishna is to be respected. There is a way to respect Krishna. Oh, then you find when you understand all that, then your relationship with Krishna, then you, then how do you approach Krishna? At so many times I will see mothers, you know, especially when they come with their children, they will tell the kid, take this, a dollar, five dollars, put it there. And the kid will ask, Udar kyo? why to put there? Oh, we are offering it to God. See, it's little training. But that training is so important to the kids also that we offer it to God. Lakshmi belongs to Narayan. Right? Whole Lakshmi belongs to Narayan, not little Lakshmi. At least begin with little Lakshmi. <laughs> offer little Lakshmi to Narayan. Whole Lakshmi is his only. Right? We are keeping some with ourselves. Right? But... Okay, the second step is go deeper in your understanding, your sambandha gyan with God. And Srila Prabhupada has opened these temples for this reason. Every time when you come, you will find Bhagavad Gita lectures going on, Bhagavatam going on, some programs going on. You know, get connected to these programs and improve in your sambandha gyan. Coming to temple is very nice, but going deeper in our sambandha. Why has Prabhupada given us so many books? So many books he translated to give us understanding who am I, who is God 
and what is my sambandha with krishna right okay ready for the third step yes i don't think you are ready maybe we'll stop for today yes you seem to be no enthusiasm only seems since dinner time for all of you if i say, okay how about dinner now yes that sambandha with that food is very good there we understand sambandha <laughs> right <laughs> okay so the third step that you need to take is now that you understood that everything belongs to god right now offer it to god that's your third step when we go to haridwar what do you, and you are supposed to worship ganga what do you do you take the water from ganga and offer it back to tera tujhko arpan kya lage mera right tera tujhko that's the this body belongs to you i will engage in service of god i offer it to god right i have some capabilities i have some you know capacities i will offer it to god in some capacity of sir of god i so the third step is utilize for in the first step you thought it belongs to me and you became responsible in the second step what did you do you understood how everything belongs to god in the third step now start offering it to god right why should you do that krishna says in the gita please recite behind me patram pushpam phalam toyam यो मे भक्त प्रयच्छति तदहम भक्ति उपहरित अश्ना प्रयतात्म सो कृष्ण सिंह बिगिन रेसिप्रोकेशन विद यू ऑफर समथिंग टू मी वॉट कैन यू ऑफर टू गॉड नॉ कृष्ण गुड एफ कैप you know offer me gold and diamonds and rubies no krishna doesn't do that he says just very simple things patram pushpam phalam toyam what is patra leaf leaf is available to the seed if you take it or any leaf patram what is pushpa flower right any flower you can as fragrant a flower you can offer uh, phalam fruit toyam वॉटर पत्र पुष्प फल योमे भक्त प्रयच्छति राइट लाइक वेन एवर वी ईट वॉट टू वी ईट वी ऑफर इट टू गॉड एंड देन वी ईट भोग लगाना कहते हैं उसको या उसको नैवेद्य दिखाना बोलते हैं राइट लाइक वेन आई वॉज स्मॉल माई मदर वुड टेक मी टू बाय क्लोथ्स एंड इन माई एरा सम ऑफ योर एरा ऑल्सो इन माई एरा वॉट वुड हैपन इज यू गो टू द शॉप टेल द साइज and the color pick it up and go home right and what do you do okay then mother at on, on the right opportune day mother would put that those clothes in front of the altar haldi kumkum lagaya usko and then my mother would give me but one day my mother took me to a departmental store a big store right and uh, this guy the sales guy told me we have a change room you can you can you can even try it I picked it up and I was going. Oh, she thumped. <laughs> Mummy, Mara, why? Why did you hit me? And Mummy, how are we supposed to buy clothes? Do we put it, put them on, or we first offer it to God? So even buying clothes was first offer it to God and accept it as God's mercy. When you eat, you offer it to God and then you accept. So you offer bhoga. and what what comes out of from comes out from the altar prasad prabhu ke sakshat darshan this food is no more food it is karma free diet now this food is you will see all items are still there same thing what i put i but what is krishna saying in the gita patram pushpam phalam toyam you offer what will i do i will accept your devotion from there and i give you karma free diet now there is no sin involved here right tell me food means sin some sort of things have to be done to get that food some sort of pain right has to somewhere some pain has been given to somebody 
पत्रम पुष्पम फलम तो या मीन्स लाइक वेजिटेरियन मोस्ट मर्सीफुल ईटिंग बट स्टील देर इज समथिंग इन्वॉल्व इवन टू द प्लांट देर इज सिन इन्वॉल्व कृष्ण सिंह यू ऑफर इट टू मी एंड आई विल टेक अवे द सिन फ्रॉम देयर राइट so one person asked if krishna is any is taken taking in sin then i can as well offer meat and eggs <laughs> then i told this devotee krishna is not saying andam chikanam matanam <laughs> <laughs> he sent patram pushpam phalam to he could have said na offer me andam chikanam matanam and i will take away the sin from there he is not saying that he is saying patram pushpam <laughs> why is krishna saying that Offer it to me. Everything belongs to God. You are eating. At least make it sacred. Offer it to me, and then have. Right? It's not that only in temple we should offer. Every home should be a temple. Every heart should be a temple, where I offer everything to God, and then I accept. I offer it to Krishna, and then I accept. So the third step is, now that you understood everything belongs to God, let me purify everything by first offering it to. One time, the father called the daughter and said, "Take this ten dollars and go buy a chocolate for yourself." The daughter went to the shop, got a chocolate, and the daughter thought, "No, no, I am not going to eat. I'll first give it to my father." And she came to the back to the father and said, "You take it first." Do you think the father was hungry for chocolate, or he had less money? But the father had tears in his eyes. Why? Father was hungry for. love love is what father accepted in that exchange this is what krishna saying start doing it so the third step is everything belongs to god begin offering to god now right your food your capacities your abilities offer it to god right ready for the fourth step yes it doesn't seem like it's dinner time is yes बुक लग गया सबको आवाज ही नहीं आ रही ओके द फोर्थ स्टेप इज आफ्टर यू बिगिन द हैबिट ऑफ ऑफरिंग इट टू गॉड व्हाट इज द प्रॉब्लम वी स्टिल कीप समथिंग यूनिक दैट गॉड हैज ऑफर्ड अस वी कीप इट फॉर माया देयर इज समथिंग यूनिक दैट ईच ऑफ अस यू नो वी हैव दोस एबिलिटीज इन अ समथिंग वेरी यूनिक दैट वी एंड अप गिविंग इट टू माया टेक इट आउट फ्रॉम देयर एंड गिव इट टू कृष्णा I'll give you example. Arjuna was supposed to fight, right? He's an archer, he's a kshatriya, and Arjuna was saying, "May I not fight? I won't fight." Krishna said, "No, I want you to fight for my sake now. Earlier you could have fought the war for your own purpose. Now fight the war for me." Similarly, Krishna said, "Tasma tamo tishta yasho labhasva." जित्वा शत्रु भुक्ष्व राज्य समृद्ध मये वैते निहिता पूर्वमेव निमित्तमात्र भवसव व्यसाची बिकम अ इंस्ट्रूमेंट इन दिस वर्ल्ड कृष्ण से बिकम अ रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ गॉड इन दिस वर्ल्ड बाय ऑफरिंग योर वेरी स्पेशल टैलेंट दैट यू मे हैव डोंट कीप इट फॉर माया ऑफर इट टू कृष्ण राइट सो व्हेन यू टेक ओके आई फिनिश हियर when you take these four steps what was the last part who will take the fifth step ah you have to only take four steps then krishna will take the fifth step and krishna's fifth step is vamandev step we may feel chota chota do teen char cheez karne se what will happen you don't worry you take your baby steps four steps when krishna takes the step krishna takes the his fifth step is like the vaman step vaman dev step and he comes towards you and krishna who is so difficult to even realize kashchin ma vetti tatvata krishna says you have done your part my son now i will take the fifth step towards you and when, and the amazing thing is your proper at one place says when krishna looks at you krishna looks at you with a magnifying glass take little It will step you take towards Krishna, and Krishna is watching. Oh, my devotee wants to come back to me. Many times it happens to me. You know, uh, young parents, you know, they they get small, baby, they have small baby or a kid, you know, and the baby is you now. कुछ तो बोलना शुरू करता है तो तो पुपु पुपु चिचु चिचु कुछ तो करता है. 
and the parents will bring their babies to me. Prabhuji, see, Prabhuji, see. Abu baca, po, po, po. Prabhupad bola, Prabhupad bola. But Prabhupad kita bola. Po, 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 kut kar rahe. I hear po, 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 po. And parents are listening, hearing Prabhupad, Prabhupad. See, just as you all parents would do that, your child may say something, but you hear something, you know, something as Prabhupada. That's what Krishna does with all of us. Our four steps are very small steps. But Krishna looks at them with magnifying glass. Ah, this, this soul has turned back to me after so many lifetimes. For Krishna, those four steps are so important. Krishna comes forth and says, My devotee, I will cover the distance for you. I will take the fifth step. And Srila Prabhupada gives his own example for this. Prabhupada says, I was an old man. I, had, I got a heart attack. Two heart attacks before I reached America's shores. Right? I, I had a heavy Bengali accent. Right? I didn't know America. I did not have any dollars with me. I didn't know anybody. Prabhupada says, after landing in America, I didn't know whether to turn right or left. But Prabhupada said, I covered all the steps. I came to America, the shores of America as a representative of God. Whatever, Nimitta Matra. I become instrument of God and I was, and what Krishna did? Krishna got done something through Prabhupada which was Bhutona Bhavishyati, which was never seen. No sannyasi would ever cross in the borders of India. Nobody would ever, ever, ever think what will happen to these countries. Srila Prabhupada came with the message of Bhagavad Gita and Prabhupada says, I, I was a case which should have never been successful. Why would Youngest, the, the youngest of the population in America listening to the oldest man possible. 15, 18, 16 year old girls and boys in New York, they sit in front of a 70 year old Indian man, Swami. Why should they? But something that was impossible became possible because Prabhupada followed the first four steps so nicely. Krishna says, let the whole world be in awe. My devotee, I'll get something done through you that we are all amazed. How could this happen? Each of us here also can do something like that for Krishna. What do we need to do? We only take four steps from our side. And Shiva Prabhupada would say, Prabhupada has offered a simple process. These four steps will become easy as much as we chant Hare Krishna in our life. The chanting of Hare Krishna, just like a kid, you know, a baby, as soon as the baby cries, the mother will pay attention. Prabhupada says, this is another way to attract Krishna's attention. When we chant Hare Krishna, Krishna quickly notices, wow, this person wants me. Right? And Krishna is eager to take that fifth step towards us. Thank you very much. Srimad Bhagavad Gita Ki Jai. Srimad Prabhupada Ki Jai. Any questions, comments, clarifications, corrections, or protests if you have? Protest? No. No? So, sir, when you were there in the you, 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 you want to wait for the mic to reach you? No, no. Let's let So, when you were there... Okay, thank you very much. So, sir, when you were there in Pune, so you went to the stall, right? Yes. For I'm, the Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita. Yes. So, you asked all for the same question. Yes. So, I have the same question. What is... What is the outcome of this? So, if you can tell me. Of the Bhagavad Gita? Yeah. I said that 18.66 Sarva Dharman Parityajya Maamekam Krishna is saying, okay. give up your all concocted dharmas, your understanding. Surrender unto me. To surrender to Krishna is the goal of our life. To become a devotee of Krishna is the goal of life. Right? Like one, one of our very senior devotees, Jananivas Prabhu and Pankajangari, two, two brothers, they, they were twins. They came in search of God in, in, to, to India and met Prabhupada in 1971 in Kolkata. They met Prabhupada. And Prabhupada told them, go to Mayapur. And Mayapur in those days was, today it's an international headquarters for ISKCON. But they were this, it was this, there was this field, rice fields. Two brothers went there and served Prabhupada. So Janani was the senior amongst the two. He was one time saying that many times I had been to the Char Dham Yatra. You know, Badrinath, Kedarnath, Gangotri, Yamunotri. He said, that year I went 
to meet the sadhus who remain on the mountains when the even the army comes down the army or army guys also don't want to remain there these yogis and sadhus they remain there so janan was for sharing that i went there for what i wanted to ask them what are you guys doing here so when i when he met the first sadhu he asked the question where are you from and this guy told janani was from i am from kerala what are you doing here should i used to do meditation and and i heard a voice from my heart go to himalayas and i started walking and i am here and janani was pushed and then i asked the second question what are you doing here what is your plan now i don't know i am waiting for the voice to speak again janani was pushed to look at his own efforts when he is putting how many lifetimes will go but krishna comes again and again dharma sansthapanarthaya krishna comes to tell us again and again you are my part and parcel the part is not meant to serve the whole you are meant to surrender to me we are in search of god but what will you do after after you know who is god you will surrender to god right that's what jesus said we came away from god we were in kingdom of god but we rebelled what will you do father please accept me back that's what is expected that's 18.66 you can read for yourself okay. yes, thank you thank you yeah. thank you shall we stop i think another question the next question surely will be where is dinner right i'm sorry but i won't have the answer for that because i am i'm, I'm also coming for the first time to this place Prabhuji, my question is about. Wait, wait. I'll take your question, but anybody can help me. Where is the dinner, otherwise? Downstairs. Niche jana padta hai. Okay. So those uh, uh, those amongst you want to take dinner, please you can proceed. I'll take the question to them. Yes. Just uh, it's not question about Bhagavad Gita. I just want to know what is the meaning of Kanai uh, Thapu. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You're questioning my name only. <laughs> okay. So uh, Krishna. You know, is Krishna. Yeah. So okay. Krishna, right? Okay. Right? Krishna. By the time the word Krishna, you know, so Thakur is what in Vrindavan Thakur ji bolte. The date is the date is called Thakur. Correct. Right? So Krishna, by the time it comes to Odisha, very lovingly Krishna is called Kanai. Oh. So there is a place in Odisha which is uh, Odisha and Bengal border is called Kanai Natshala. Oh. So, so Kanai Thakur. So Krishna only. and i am krishna kanai thakur das that is important i am not krishna i am krishna's das. servant da, das is very important that we forget right that we should not forget kanai thakur das thank you very much shrimad bhagavad gita ki jai shri la prabhupad ki jai nitai gaur prevanande hari hari bol thank you krishna kanai thakur ki jai